interest expense is an important part of your personal finances and your business finances. If you buy a house, you're going to borrow the money. If you work for a company, they're either borrowing money or lending money or both. So being able to calculate interest expense is an important business skill to have. Let's do exercise 11-1 together. On July 1, 2012, C.S. Lewis borrows $50,000 from Fourth National Bank, signing a 9-month 12% note. Cash is an asset. Assets increase with debits, so we debit cash for $50,000. Notes payable is the liability account that we credit. It increases with credits because it is a liability account. Let's put a little memo in here this time, make sure we remember which note we're dealing with. The Fourth National Bank is for $50,000. We don't owe any interest on the day that we borrow the money. Interest accrues over time. On November 1st, we borrow $60,000 from Livingston Bank. Same kind of entry, debit cash for $60,000 because our cash is going up, and credit our liability account notes payable for $60,000. Again, we don't owe any interest on the day that we borrow the money. On December 31st, we finally prepare adjusting journal entries. Some companies do adjusting journal entries every month, some every quarter. These guys do them once a year. So let's do the Fourth National Bank note first. At December 31st, we owe half a year or six months worth of interest. We borrowed the money on July 1st, and it's now December 31st, so we have to book interest expense, even though we aren't writing a check, for six months. Interest equals principal times rate times time, and the tricky part is that that rate is an annual rate, and we don't always want to know how much interest is due for one year. In this case, we want to know six months, so interest equals principal 50,000 times rate 0.12 that would give me one year's worth of interest. I always like to find out how much one month is so I take that and divide it by 12 and that tells me how much one month worth of interest is. In this case we've had the use of the money for six months so we want to accrue for six months worth of interest expense or $3,000. So we're going to debit interest expense, expense to debits, expense to debits, expense to debits, and credit interest payable. We aren't writing a check, but we want to be sure to get that interest expense in 2012 because that's when we had the use of the money. All right, why don't you pause the video now and see if you can calculate two months worth of interest expense on the Livingston Bank note. Okay, hopefully you uh, did the same kind of calculation. Interest equals principal, $60,000 times rate, 10%, that would give us one year's worth. I always like to figure out how much one month is, so I divide that by 12, and let's multiply it times two to come up with $1,000 worth of interest expense. So, at December 31st, we accrue for $1,000 worth of interest expense by debiting interest expense and crediting interest payable. Again, we'll probably uh, put this in red. Let's keep the Livingston Bank note in red just so we can tell these two notes apart. Okay, and then on February 1st, we're going to pay the in principal and interest to Livingston Bank. In other words, we're going to pay off the note that we have in red font here. Okay, so we're going to pay off that principal balance of $60,000. We're going to have to pay off that interest payable that was due of $1,000. And we also have to book one month worth of interest expense for 2013 because we haven't booked January's interest expense yet. So interest equals principal. In this case, Livingston Bank is $60,000 times rate, which is 10%. That would give us a year's worth of interest, but we only want one month, so we divide by 12 and we get $500. So when we pay the note off, we debit notes payable to get rid of the liability for the note, debit interest payable to get rid of the liability for the interest payable, and book January's interest expense. So we write a check for $61,500. And maybe we put a little memo in here to tell the world exactly what we did. We paid off the Livingston note, including one month of 2013 interest expense. All right, now we're going to, April 1st, on April 1st, we're going to pay off the Fourth National Bank. Why don't you take pause the video and see if you can come up with the journal entry to pay off the Fourth National Bank. All right, hopefully you paused and uh, you figured out that we owe three months worth of interest expense for 2013. So let's calculate that. Interest equals principal, which in this case is $50,000, times rate, 
times rate, which is 0.12. Let's find out how much one month is. That would give us one month, but we have to accrue for three. So let's put down three. So we owe $1,500 worth of interest expense for 2013. So that journal entry looks like debit the notes payable to get rid of this liability, debit the interest payable to get rid of this liability here, book some interest expense for 2013. We owe January, February, and March, three months, $1,500. So that means we're writing a check for $54,500. And maybe we make a little note here, and maybe we actually spell pay off right. Pay off the fourth national bank note, including three months of 2013 interest expense. So that's how we account for interest expense.